Okay, this is a way bigger problem than I thought. Look at all the rebels I have right now. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing our A to Z challenge as I knew. If you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe since only 20% of you are subscribed and you can become a member today. So I knew, huh? Everybody knows I knew they're at the northern tip of the Japanese islands and let's see right here. Oh. That's right, we're a native council and animist, very bad government form, a very bad religion. And uh, I do think this is going to be the hardest one in our A to Z series so far. So let's take a look at what we can do as I knew. Right, so here we are. Okay, 4k troops, 10 ships, 7 lights, 3 transports. What's this? Oh, we can migrate to the curls? Uh, let's not do that just yet. Can we pick any rivals? No, we don't even have a ruler, although I will get one as soon as I unpause. Let's do some... Right, uh, we don't even have estates, actually. Okay, we can do the vision quest, sure. Let's see our economy, horrible. So uh, our expansion opportunities are limited, to say the least. If we declare on these Japanese guys, we're gonna have to fight all of them. And uh, looks like Dongai over here is our best bet, although they will get, like, two or three allies from these other tribes over here. So uh, I'm thinking we just stack transports maybe and build up the forest limit, see what we can do. Maybe we're gonna have to no CB someone down here. If our ships can survive the voyage that is. And maybe we'll try and get into some shenanigans like becoming the Shogun or the Emperor of China. Or maybe culture shift and form Qing. We'll see. All right, so now I'm basically selling some uh, ships to get some ducats. Let's see, Uesugi will buy one maybe. Oh yeah. So that's 70 ducats right there, baby. Bruh, look at this ruler I got. Oh. All right, so I sold all my light ships, made around 70 ducats. Now, uh, okay, Dongai are only allied to Korchen. We may be able to do something here. I have to spy on them. No money for advisors just yet. Our bad ruler is actually a pretty good general. All right, <laughs> we don't even have feudalism. Although it is spreading, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I guess I won't have to spawn it after all, if you count this as spreading. All right, so it's been a couple of years. I built eight transports and five galleys. And uh, I've built eight troops. I also have an admiral and a general. And I have claims on Dongai. And I've allied Udegi and Nivik. So I think me and these two guys right here can beat Dongai, Haishi, and Yeren. So I think I will be declaring on them. I mean, it's really our only option. Let me get some uh, advisors first. Ooh, okay, we got a discipline guy. And I think I can get this morale of navies guy. First, we need some loans though. All right, discipline, boom, morale of navies. Nice. So let's see how this goes. Alright, so I managed to win this war. It was easier than I thought it would be. I pieced out Haishi and Yuren for some ducats and reps and took these provinces from Dongai. I didn't give anything to my allies. Well, they didn't participate enough. At least that's what the peace deal said. Now, what I'm thinking is I should culture convert to Yurchin so I can form Manchu and stuff because Ainu is a really, uh, it's a really bad nation. So I think that is something that I will be doing. I should start improving with Ming too, so maybe I can become their tribute and not get devoured by them. Of course, I won't be able to declare on Zhu, Hai Shi, and Korchen, so uh, that's not very good. Maybe I'll have to go around. Let's see what I can come up with in the next couple of years. Oh, well, would you look at that? I can ally Ming. Of course, I still can't declare on their tributaries, but at least these guys up here won't be declaring on me, so that's pretty good. Should I also ally Korea? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Okay, this start wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I can even embrace feudalism now. Ooh, tier 2 government reform. Wait, actually, we can reform into a horde, right? So I won't have to culture swap? Hmm, let's see. Ooh, yeah, let's get this. You know, there are certain benefits to allying Ming. Okay, some time has passed, and after I broke my lance with Udegi and Nivik, now I can declare on Udegi. They're only allied to, well, Nivik, so I think I can take both of them on myself. Let's see how this goes. Right, almost forgot the free company. All right, I finally beat these guys. Uh, it was harder than I thought, man. It's it's kind of hard fighting these hordes over here, but it is time to take stuff. And I think this is what I'm gonna take because a coalition can form. And with this, I can just get a border up to Solon or something. So I think this is enough for now. All right, our expansion is coming along slowly, but surely. I think my next target will be Yaren or Solon. I really gotta become a tributary of Ming though. Alright, I think my next target has got to be these guys up here. They're only allied to Nivik. I can actually call in Ming in this war. But there's no need for that. 
okay now i can actually culture shift to urchin because well i stated these lands over here and now my urchin cultured provinces have more dev than my ainu cultured provinces so i am gonna do that all right there we go adopt manchu identity i think this is going pretty well so far you know i just culture shifted to urchin and some of you guys might think all right that's a bit too op for ainu well that's why I'm actually gonna stay as Animist. I'm not gonna swap out of Animist. Yes, it is one of the worst religions. And yes, I am gonna stay Animist. Animist Ching, anyone? Or Animist Shogun? Let's see how this game goes. You know, this new guy isn't too good either. All right, we gotta full annex these guys, right? Hmm, a coalition will form, but I do have chooses with most of these guys, so it should be fine. Should be, right? All right, so what I'm still thinking here is I need to get a border with Ming. Now, that's not possible really because all of these guys are already their tributaries. But Hai Shi is allied to Yiren. So what I'm thinking is I declare on Yiren, call in Ming in that war to help me fight Hai Shi and Oirat, and uh, maybe get some provinces from Hai Shi in that process, since Ming will be on my side. So let's see how that goes. I am gonna have to wait a bit though, since they do have a truce. You know, to tell you the truth, I'm tired of waiting around. Should I just full annex all of these guys? Why did I call in Ming though? <laughs> I don't think I needed them. Alright, what do we do? I'm thinking I white piece Yuren. Now, Zhu does have a lot of cores on Hai Shi, so I do think that I should make them my subject. You know what? Forget coalitions, bro. And of course, I am gonna full annex Dongai. I think Ainu is a little more powerful than we thought. Now some of these guys are salty, whatever, Ming doesn't care, and they'll defend me from a coalition. So uh, yeah, it's time to clean these guys up and uh, continue along with the Haishi plan too. Wow, we can actually build buildings, guys. Do I have a center of trade? Uh, nope. Let's build a, let's build a church. You know what, guys? Animist is just too bad, man. I can't play as Animist. I'm sorry. I have to accept the Tengri Zealot's demands. And just like that, we're Tengri. Much better. Much, much better. Slowly but surely, we're morphing into Ching. Feels kind of weird playing in this region and actually making claims on everyone instead of using the Horde CB. But we will get it soon. Very soon. Also, I would have dev the Renaissance by now, but literally all of these provinces are horrible for devving. I'm at least trying to get to some grasslands over here, whereas I already dev my capital over here, so uh, it would cost quite a lot. Alright, so my truce is up with Yeren and so is Ming's. I can declare on them and call in Ming, which is pretty sweet. Now, I could co-belligerent Haishi to take their provinces here for cheaper and less aggressive expansion, but then I would also have to fight Ashikaga and their subjects right next to my capital over here, which would be pretty annoying. So I am not gonna co-belligerent Haishi after all and just call in Ming. Hopefully, they'll take care of where at. Their mandate isn't that high, but we should still be able to do it. So I am gonna declare. Alright, let's hope this goes well, because if not, uh, this might be the end. Alright, so I am gonna peace out Hai Shi, I'm gonna make them give these two provinces back to Zhu, and then I should be able to seize this province so I can border Ming. Alright, this war is over. By the way, I peaced out Orat for some ducats. Ming took care of them pretty nicely. And of course, uh, I think I am gonna full annex these guys. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can seize that province from uh, Zhanzhou, actually. It's uh, this one right here. Okay, okay, so now we border Ming, and uh, they still don't want us to become their tributary. Okay, let's see if we can fix that. I think we actually can't become their tributary because we have our own subjects or something like that. Maybe that's why they're not offering it to us, or that's why we can't offer it to them. So I'm gonna integrate Zhanzhou and see if I can do it after that. Oh, okay, now they'll accept. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe it's because their attitude changed to domineering so this popped up and i was like oh no but then i saw that i could become their tributary nice all right now we can fight all of these guys over here and we're well on our way to forming manchu and later ching of course and we're just continuing our conquest all righty then i actually kind of forgot we can raise banners which is a really cool interaction actually but I don't really have the force limit for it. All right, choose with Hai Shi is up. Time to take back Zhu's course and take some of their provinces for us. It's pretty nice that they don't have any allies either. So after this, we should be able to form Manchu. I did finally manage to spawn the Renaissance too. I had to dev this province up to 44 and uh, yeah, spend a lot of points, but I think it's worth it. Of course, we can just sell it to Ming once we get it. What should we go with as our first idea group? Colonial Manchu, anyone? All right, this seems pretty nice. Sweet, time to integrate Zhu. I think after that we should be able to form Manju. Alright, it's time. Yes please. 
All right, now we're way more powerful than we used to be. New awesome ideas, new awesome mission tree. Wait, why are we still a Siberian native council? Huh. So we're not actually a horde just yet. Hey, it's time for our first colony. Let's colonize Sakhalin right here. I mean, it's right next to us. Alright, so it's been about 10 years and I've cleaned up all of these nations over here. Now Ming just declared a war against Orat. And their mandate isn't looking too good right now. In fact, they're losing mandate. So you know what that means. Oh yeah, it's cancel tributary time. Let's stab up real quick. Oh yeah, it's reconquest time. Oh nice, we can take this. Oh nice, another awesome general. Uh, let's add him right here. Alright, it's time to fight Ming. Looks like Ming are starting to have an even worse time. They're probably in a disaster right now and uh, these southern guys and Shun should pop out pretty soon. At least, that's what I'm expecting. Great, I just had to fight peasants for them, you know? They just walk straight into me. Of course, we won with our superior army. You know what? I'll take it. Nice. We have Beijing now. So what exactly do we need to form Qing? Alright, we need this province from Mongolia. Well, looks like they're up next on the chopping block. Alright, where should we make our second colony? I'm thinking right here. Alright, so it's time to declare on Korea now and basically reset our truce with Ming. So I'm just gonna declare for this province right here. Bro, I just arrived in their capital and I can already white piece them. That is what we want though, since we want to fight them again in five years. Time to go full annex Korea or something, I don't know. Second idea group, expansion, why not? Intervention in the crisis of the Ming Dynasty. So here we basically automatically declare war on Shun, who just popped out right here. Of course, we ride to war. Wait, why didn't I, why didn't I declare on them? I'll just declare on them now. All right, let's peace out Korea since I, uh, I do want to get involved in this other stuff over here. Let's go fight Shun. And there we go, the Ming blow up is complete. We just need Wu to pop out over here. You know, once we form Manchu, we really got the ball rolling. What is this army doing over here? You know, this war against Shun right now, it's too easy. So I'm just gonna declare on Mongolia for Shilin Gol. This should make things a little more interesting. Only a little though. See, that's more like it. All right, let's peace out Shun. I feel like this is enough from this war. Time to focus on these guys right here. Oof. Wow, Ming are having a very nice time. All right, reform into a horde. Nice. Ooh, we're a kingdom too. All right, time to take Shilin Gol. Nice, now all we need to form Qing has become the Emperor of China, but I still don't know why I don't have the take mandate of having CB from Ming. Hmm, alright, let me investigate this. Alright, now I have the CB, I think I needed to border them or something like that, but let's take it. Well, there we go boys, it's time to claim the mandate of heaven. Okay, so now I'm a celestial emperor. Well, let's do this, let's uh... Let's do this. And, uh, oh yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's not do these. <laughs> and let's form Ching. Yes, please. Nice. Ooh, we got some nice claims. And Ching does have a really good mission tree and really good national ideas, too. Now it's time to conquer all of China. So it is gonna be pretty annoying getting our mandate to positive growth in these first couple of years. I know it's usually advised to, you know, take all of China before taking the mandate, but I just couldn't resist. You know, these Shun guys have been in the way long enough. I think it's time to just get them out of here. There we go. You know, I'm really digging what we're doing with the colonies so far. We've colonized everything up here. Now I do have two colonists and the one is down here so I can get tributaries with some of these guys. But I'm thinking with this other one, we push all the way here. So uh, right here. Yeah, I know Russia is going to colonize this later, but I'm tired of waiting for Russia. Look, Sweden is over here and Lithuania too. So uh, some crazy stuff might be happening in Europe and Russia may not even exist. I almost forgot we had estates actually and we have a really high crown land so we can do some really nice stuff with them. Let's summon the diet. All right, Diplo power, sure. Patronage of the arts, commercial advisory board. Oh, this is pretty nice. Religious state, clerical advisory council. Oh, this is pretty nice. Actually, this is really good too. Let's see if something is better actually. Let's establish new world missions. That also means I can swap out of the current native trading policy. Monthly mill power. Dude, increased levies is nerfed so hard, man. I'm not even gonna take it. Aristocratic counselors. Yeah, that's good enough. So now we can swap to this. 
and let's see native uprising chance minus 50 oh wait that's not the same modifier hmm all right never mind we'll get that when we unlock all of the expansion ideas anyway bro can you believe it as soon as i pick that i get natives up here oh so oirat just declared a war on me the oirat reconquest of that province right there i had to peace out shun because of that this is what i took from them right here and uh I can't believe they declared war on me. I mean, come on. I know they have more troops than me at this point, but I just murked up. And uh, Oirat and Mongolia here. And sorry, Yogir. They're about to be in a world of pain. These guys think I'm playing around. That'll show them. All right, time to stabilize a bit because uh, we're not looking too good right now. Oh, nice. We can get two more tributaries. These guys and these guys. All right, that should help. Oh, we're finally getting mandate growth. Soon, we'll be able to pass the first reform. Let's uh, synchronize a faith or whatever it's called. Nice, it's time to pass our first reform. You know, some people would say, don't declare wars when you have low mandate. Your army is gonna be horrible. As we can see, yeah, that fire and shock damage received plus 40%, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be too good for us. But that's not what the Sigma male grind set is all about. So we're gonna boost the officer core and uh, we're gonna declare on Ming right here. Let's take a Jun. I mean, how much damage could they really do with plus 40% fire and shock damage? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Sweet, who's next? Hmm, I haven't declared on Wu. How did Japan get here? Oh, it's gonna be so annoying to fight them. Bruh, I just got a Regency Council and I can't do nothing for... 10 more years. All right, I'm finally out of that regency. Had to wait 10 years and do nothing. So now it's time to unify China and fight Liang. I love this event when you complete this mission. Now all we need to do is beat up Ming and we'll get cores on all of China. Goodbye, Liang. Time to unify China against Shun. Oh. Did I have a truce with them? Dude, how did I not see that? I literally just truce broke. Shun, I don't believe it. I thought my truce with them expired. <laughs> Listen, even in these, uh, you know, even in our first good A to Z game, uh, something had to go wrong. If it was a normal campaign, honestly, I would just save scum, but, uh, you know, that's not very good for the mandate. And, uh, I don't have admin points right now. I mean, we can still beat them, it's just, uh, a little goof on my part. Now, that's not good. That's something I need to stop. Internal conflict needs to be stopped. Oh wait, wrong series. Great, now I'm getting rebels. Uh, that's not something I noticed either. This is going more wrong than I anticipated. Okay, okay, we're beating the rebels, uh, slowly but surely. And we're beating Shun, slowly but surely. Maybe I spoke too soon, huh? Okay, this is a way bigger problem than I thought. Look at all the rebels I have right now. I need to peace out Shun as soon as possible, man, and start focusing on these rebels. All right, there you go, white peace Shun. Sorry for, uh... <laughs> breaking my truth with you okay i have to deal with these rebels now okay okay not doing too bad i cleaned up the guys over here now let's take care of these guys right here i still can't get over the fact that i didn't see that i had a truce with shun you know man i i just had a too big of a lust to declare war i didn't see this oh well great i feel like i get this disaster in every a to z campaign i've read dire times are ahead of us so much i'm starting to believe it bruh well, at least I was already at minus three stab. I really thought we were gonna have a good A to Z campaign. I honestly did. You know, just just when you feel like you've beaten them, you get like five more armies. Well, <laughs> the first rebels enforce demands. There we go, Udegi is free. Uh, what? Brunei and separatists. Oh, that's down here. Okay, I, I don't really care. Look, I have 15k peasants right here. Why? Dude, I honestly thought I could beat it. Maybe I can't. I'm getting so many rebels. You guys have no idea. I literally just beat all of these guys like two years ago, and now they're out again. And the particularists, the nobles, I really don't know what to do. All right, so Korea just declared war on me. Uh... Well, it's just them, but they can probably win. Look how weak I am. These guys over here refused to pay tribute. These guys down here. How the great Ching has fallen. Dude, I don't even have an army, man. I really don't know what to do. Should I just accept demands? And Japan just declared too. How the mighty have fallen, huh, guys? Hey, here's a little positive thing right here. Royal decree. The end of the internal conflicts. Thank you. Well... Who knew that truce breaking Shun would lead to this? Not me, because I didn't even notice I have a truce with them. I'm a little salty to be honest. 
And I guess that's the end of that. I think this is the right time to call this campaign done. Uh, shame, really, because I did think this would be the first, you know, successful A to Z campaign that we would have. And, uh, well, in hindsight, maybe I should have safe scummed when I uh, accidentally choose Broke Shun. A real shame. Uh, I think we could have had a really, really good campaign as Ching, but, oh, well, these things happen. Now I'm split in three. I don't even have my original starting provinces. Japan took them. All these nations are free. I lost to Japan and Korea and to all the separatists, they broke my country, but at least I can take enforced service. Went bankrupt, no armies. Still the Emperor of China losing 0.16 mandate a month. And uh, yeah, let's quickly recap this campaign. So we started off as I knew in these three provinces right here. A very weak nation, animist, and a Siberian native council, very weak government type and very weak religion. We really couldn't declare anywhere, not in Japan, because we would have to fight all the daimyos or in the hordes because they had alliances. Luckily, we were able to declare on Dongai with the help of some of our allies. After that, we allied Ming and after that, we became their tributary so we would be safe from these guys right here. We changed our religion twice, first from Animist to Tengri when we formed Manchu and then from Tengri to Confucian when we formed Qing. We also culture swapped from Ainu to Yurchin, which of course changed to Manchu, and of course we swapped government from Siberian Native Council to Horde to a Celestial Empire. All in all, a very successful campaign up until 10 years ago when I accidentally truce broke Shun. So that was Ainu. If you want this save file, it will be available to all YouTube members in the Save Games Discord channel, and you can continue from this date forward and try to re-establish the glory of Qing. I might even send it to Zlevik in a saving ruined campaign scenario. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe since only 20% of you are subscribed, and you can become a member today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.